Sure. It is. Well, not the wall itself, perhaps. The construction is very traditional. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks. Just there. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. But the truly interesting part is in there. And I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place. A man by the name of Meerwald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. Knowledge. <laughs> or, to be less clever about it, a certain text. I've come in search of a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I paid them little mind. Humorless swords in long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Hmm? Looks like this place has been abandoned for years. Brave Sure. Let's go! Brave thou be lost here. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. 
Yeah? Grave out the lot. Let's go! Let us Leave our village! We've done nothing to you! You can't do this! This is our village! Our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations! We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands! You can't just burn it all! <coughs> have mercy, soldier! Our warriors have all gone! <coughs> I shall. Do you think he'd be mad? Brave does he not believe. Hey. Hmm? Good to be on the road again. A wanderlust is nothing rare in the people of Rawatai, but often I think myself alone in loving the land as much as the sea. Hmm, what shall I tell? I am Kanarua, born in the royal city of Takoa, from which rules the Ranga Nui. There, <laughs> that is a solemn enough start. I am a lore chanter in the college there. I was on the usual path at first, theology, the traditions, when the Gate of Great Teeth was completed. It was all my father had hoped for, the but it was also a sign that Rawatai was changing, looking inward.
Ah, Rawatai. Shall I describe the pearl-white sands, the sapphire waters, the multi-hued tiles of the rooftops, like a mosaic upon the coast? <laughs> Sorry. Tokoa is doubly famed, a royal city and home to the Coral Harbor. The Tanvi Oratoa. It's not really a book. It's been passed down over the years in the form of a chant. I actually found it a little strange at first, seeing it set down in stone. It's not quite the same as a song of worship, though we have paeans to the gods as well. More a kind of moral guide. It gives us something to aspire to. The, uh, model of a virtuous citizen of Rawatai. Much of Ingwith's writing is lost to us, but an engraving would survive. I found several tablets at the site in Examatal. You'll see a few children nodding off in the middle, I grant you. But the chant is not something taken lightly, and two factions vie for the king's ear. We've been spared the civil wars and petty conflicts of our neighbors thus far. I'd rather it stay that way. There have been arguments as to the chant's true interpretation. New translations, even. But any rendition of it I find in the ruins of Engwith will predate those translations by 2,000 years. And finding it here also proves that we still have much to gain from trading with other cultures. I'd be lying if I said I'm not looking forward to seeing the look on everyone's faces when I get back. And I want to prove that all of this is worthwhile. <laughs> More or less. It wasn't a popular theory when I suggested it. The idea that we shared the Tanvi Oratoha with some older culture, I mean. It doesn't help that my family is from the Deadfire Islands. If I had a copper pond for every chanter who suggested that it's just not in my nature to conquer. My siblings, my parents, they make up for it. They build walls and cannons and ships. I've tried to explain. It isn't that I think those things aren't necessary. But if Rawatai closes itself off from trade, turns on its own people over tradition, we will fall behind. Dutiful, learned, honest. The sticking point is loyal. Loyal to the people of Rawatai above all others. Fearless in their defense and bold in aspiration. But it seems it's not that far a leap from there to the idea that we must cast out foreign influences. Doesn't everyone want to be a good citizen? I don't know that the distinction is necessarily important. Rawatai has a long history, and wherever it came from, it will be Rawatai that decides what becomes of it. <clears throat> Oh, 
If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. The cost of troubling me seems to worry you little. That's a curse that runs deeper. It's a god hammer of a different sort. And like the god hammer, it was made by men's hands. There are fewer souls. There are more vessels. It is simply equaling of the process. I feel more remorse in putting down a slathering hound. A wicked? Less than a mongrel in its misery. Murder is a kindness, not a crime. Always has been. I would sooner put the blade to those who are to blame instead. Murder you? I would not grant you any of them. The mercy I grant the Hollowborn. Murder is an old word. Mercy is letting a soul fly free to the next body. True punishment? Ruining someone to their soul. Crack their spirit like you would crack their skulls with a staff. Beat them. Hurt them in mind and body. So their souls become shards. Then... Leave it in the body to think on it, like planting a new field with the right seed. Many marks may I make upon your flesh, but flame leaves marks that cannot heal. Margarine doctrine dictates true punishment is one that remains in memory. Have you seen a man branded by flame? He remembers it always, in every waking movement. It is a lesson writ in the only ink and vellum that matters, blood and flesh. One can burn the soul as well. We did what must be done. Wherever they were, they were rooted out, their souls reclaimed. Aethys was the god of rebirth, and his light does not fall on the deer wood. I've heard some claim it's his doing. His death, it's closed the halls to new souls. Hey. Oh, other than the war, I never strayed too far from where you found me. Farming, mostly. In my younger days, I thought I was going to go preach the word of Aethys, just in our temple there. My parents encouraged it. Of course, us blowing him up probably didn't help my chances there. But if anybody'd forgive you for blowing him up, it'd be Aethys. They, uh, <laughs> they did. It was strange timing, because we just won the war. They celebrated when I came home. There was music and dancing. Trumbull used half his grain making this big honey cake. It took a while for word of the purges to reach us. 
Aethasians being murdered in the streets, Cold Morn and the like. No way would they let something like that happen in Gilded Vale. That's what they all said. But the weeks went by and the purges spread. Pretty soon they weren't so sure my brother fought for Deerwood. And they weren't so sure I did. Caught me by surprise after all the celebrating. <laughs> Should have seen it coming after the tailor said he was gonna fit me for some new clothes, but then all he wanted was my neck measurement. Nah, not that last part. But you had to think about it. Says a lot about the place I've been calling home all these years. Well, I'm sure my parents are still wondering the same thing. The Aeothasian purges were like this madness had come over the town, like a disease. Seems like when you see something like that, your instinct is to wait for it to pass, even when you know it probably won't. The family whose farm I worked on, they had a little hollowborn girl. And they heard the Animancers had this cure, the salvation it was called. They went running. This salvation, they were putting animal souls in children. You might have heard about it, giving them enough personality to care for themselves. Well, you can guess how that turned out. Anyway, these farmers put the family dog's soul in their little girl. For a while, the girl, she's making eye contact, she's feeding herself, albeit in a kind of messy way. And one day she snaps. They found her gnawing on her brother's bones. Had to chain her up, put her in a cow pen. Well, the mother, she wouldn't have anything to do with the girl after that. But the father, he'd visit every day, feed her chickens, toss water on her once in a while to get the dirt off. He was just waiting for his daughter to look up one day and recognize her papa. He was waiting for her to get better. Didn't understand that at the time, of course, but these days I think about him a lot. What's on your mind? It makes two of us. If you're looking to find religion, maybe you want to start with a god that hasn't been burned to dust, but I won't stop you. Aethys, he was a young man with a silver crown. Carried a candle around with him. <laughs> Sounds like I'm giving a bad eulogy here. In my way, I don't suppose he expects me to show up at his temple these days. Not much left to do for him other than keep his memory alive and keep hoping that he's just been playing a joke on all of us these past 15 years. Raised that way. My family's been Aeothasian going way back. Suppose it wasn't much of a choice at first. Mm mm. There was something I genuinely liked about Aethys. Always. Like he understood people better than the other gods. Knew all our flaws and weaknesses and accepted us for that. Folks are at their worst when they're afraid. A god like Aethys, he made you realize there was nothing to fear. Of course, he goes away for a few years, and look what happens. Was his actions. I mean, not when he started his rebellion, and not even when he took over Raed Ceres. It was when he sent his armies into Deerwood. You sure you don't want to talk about something more pleasant, like the War of Black Trees or the Legacy or something? What's on your mind? How may I help?
Yes? Hmm? If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skidding your n- Yeah? Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. I'm sorry if I startled you. I'm afraid my manners have been slipping. I haven't had much opportunity for introductions lately. Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. Eh? Eh? Brave thousand. <laughs> I shall deal with this one. How may I help? Hmm? Eh? Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. Before you were born, the Glan Fathers attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect, and to avenge. Brave thousand. Let's go! You 
cannot venture forth while in combat. New orders, Lieutenant. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south, all the way to the bow in the river. The instructions come from Admet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. We'll take those farmers by surprise. Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. You were right. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. Brave thou shalt believe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Sacre fool! Let's go! Let's go! I? Indeed. Hmm? Yeah? Let's 
Let's go! Hi? Yeah? Hmm? Let's go. Grave, thou shalt not believe.
Rave. Rave down field. What? You must gather your party mm. before venturing forth. Sure. 